Welcome to the Mushroom Cult. Today we are isolating ascospores from cordyceps. This is our first fruiting, and we're gonna pluck one of these sporocarps up and attach it to the Vaseline on the lid of a petri dish. These petri dishes have water auger in them, which will help reduce some of the contamination. You can see that it's stuck to the lid and that there's a gap between the mushroom and the auger. So 24 hours later, you can see with the naked eye the spores that were shot out of it. And in the center of the spore print, it's really thick and you won't be able to isolate a single spore. But closer to the edge, you start seeing individual spores. And so you'll be able to isolate a single spore for a mating program. It helps to use a stereo microscope but you can do it with the naked eye. You just will have fewer options. I'm taking a sterile scalpel to remove a single spore and then put it on a clean nutrient plate. Here you can see what the microscope can see. And it looks like I found a single ascospore that has plenty of room because this is kind of difficult to navigate in a, such a small space. So I'm just trying to make a little square around it, trying not to damage it, and then lifting it out. And again, I'll put it on that plate. I'm just trying to separate a bunch of colonies that I'll divide up later after I've proven that they've succeeded. So that's basically it. The tedious part is just looking around and finding the spore that is all by itself and then cutting it out. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. There we are back to the spore print. Thanks for joining the Mushroom Cult. Stay tuned for more videos. Give us a like and follow. And you can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Join the cult. Start a culture.